There's another model of hormonal obesity, which treats obesity as a hormonal problem, right? So again, the proximate cause is still too many calories. But what's driving you to have too many calories? Well, it's insulin. Cortisol as well, it's hormones. So in this case, if you have a hormonal view of obesity, then the treatment is not willpower, right? Because all of a sudden, as a nation, you know, we're 50 years later, we have no willpower. And 50 years before, we had lots of willpower. Like, that's ridiculous, right? <laughs> so the treatment then is to lower insulin, right? And then you have to understand, then you can understand why it's going to work. So remember that in, in, this, in this hormonal model, you're not breaking any laws of thermodynamics, right? You're not saying that you're creating energy out of nothing, right? And this is the, one of the things that's always leveled at these low-carb um, uh, people. It's like, well, what? You don't believe in the law of thermodynamics? No, we're not saying that at all, you idiot. It's, <laughs> we're saying that there's a different cause. It's not willpower, it's insulin. That's what's causing you to gain weight, right? So they never understand that, but calling names is not the answer. You know? <laughs>